Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. So today I want to talk about why it is so much easier to do client projects than it is to do your own. So this week I put an app live for a client. It's always a satisfying feeling to get something live on the Play Store and live on the App Store and the client is very happy and we did it in record time. Perfect. I mean, I'm so, I mean, it's so today I'm kind of like, I guess I'm kind of celebrating a little bit, patting myself on the back. I mean, it wasn't so easy. I had the typical Apple came back with loads of stuff, terms and conditions and stuff I had to change and there was a bunch of change. I mean, just like, you know, just iterating and go, okay, how about now? How about now? How about now? Right? Um, it's funny. I read it an article. I read a blog post from Revenue Cat this week where they talked about how, you know, when Apple says jump, we say whatever. <laughs> That's what you do with those with those rejections. You just submit it again and again. But so I, I did it in record time. Um, but, you know, faster than we've done an app before. I mean, it was a couple months. Um, and the reality is, I've given it to another developer. Uh, and he was just drawing out the time on it. So I just took it over and just finished it myself. So working a lot of late nights and weekends and just getting that thing done. So just, you know, just nose to the grindstone. I'm just gonna get this app completed. I've got other projects going on, but I'm just gonna get this one done. And I did, right? And then I went to go work on one of my own applications and, and that kind of slowed down, right? And for some reason, when I'm working on other people's applications, when I'm doing client work, a lot of times things get done, they just get done, they get done a lot faster. When you're working on your own applications, it takes a while to do. And it doesn't take a while to do, it's easy to procrastinate and it's easy to push things off. I've always been surprised with how much I can accomplish when I'm being paid for something and I know that I'm being paid for something than to do something speculative, like to put your own application out there. So. I always, every time we have the live streams and everyone shows me their applications, I'm like, I just think it's amazing that you're able to actually do it. I mean, I've done it in the past too. So, you know, it's, but it's, you, you have that resistance on a daily basis to put your own applications out there. So my question is, why is it so much harder to do your own applications than it is to do something for a client? And I've been thinking about this and I think there's like three big reasons. The first one is that you're working off a specification when you do a client project, right? Your client comes to you and then they say they want something and then you agree what you're going to do before you do it. So you sit down and you actually start working on it. And then if, you know, if something comes in at scope creep, then you're like, okay, you could agree to it or you could just say, look, that's not part of the scope. We could do it, but it'll add to the time and to the cost and everything is negotiated. Where a lot of times when you're doing your own work for yourselves, you don't really have a specification. I mean, I've done it in the past where I've actually sketched out something, but it was fluid. So as I'm working on something, I get an idea and I think, okay, no, that would be really cool if I add that in there. And it just sort of like, you know, you think clients are bad with scope creep. Myself, me, myself working on my own projects where I make all the decisions, scope creep is awful because I get this idea and then I'll chase that idea for, for three or four hours or a day down the road and, you know, it does. So that's one of the big reasons is like, you're not working to a specifications, so it's hard to do. Secondly, you don't value your time the way you would when you're doing client work. If someone's paying you and you charge, say like, whatever, $50 an hour, you know, $100 an hour, $20 an hour, whatever it is, everything, every bit of work you do above that, it's, it's, you're, you're, you're paying for it. So like, if you quote, like, this is going to take me 50 hours and you end up spending 70 on it, then you know, you're just, you need to get it done as quick as possible. If you quote 50 hours, ideally you want to get it done in 40 or 30 or less, right? Your client would prefer that too, actually. So, um, so every time you go above that, you're always thinking about that. And I know I've talked with people before who said, you need to put your own time into your own projects too. Like you can't just say like you're just tinkering with something. You have to put your, your own thing. So like if I spend a weekend working on something, then really what I've done is I've spent whatever, a thousand pounds on it or whatever, whatever, whatever my daily rate is for, my, um, for myself. My, my problem is, is that I do think in that, uh, that way, but I give myself a huge friends and family discount, right? Like I don't, when I think of my own time, I don't charge myself the same I was, I was charged somebody else, right? Because, you know, I know me really well. I've known me a long time. So that's the kind of thing. 
And the third reason is because you assume all the risks when you do your own project, right? It's easy when your client comes to you and because when you're putting an app on the App Store or the Play Store, it is speculative. You're like, you're hoping it will take off. There's some marketing that has to go into it. There's a lot of pushing. There's a lot of type of, you know, tweaking and stuff. Um, and really, if it's somebody else's idea and they're paying for that idea, it takes a lot of the risk away from you. But when you're doing something yourself, you assume all the risk of it. So as you're doing something, that perfectionist comes in. Perfectionism is a reason we don't ever put, it puts, stops us from putting things live a lot of the time. I know I've, I've suffered from it in the past. My first application, I started working on it myself and I was just, you know, every time I'd run into like the smallest little roadblock, I would say, oh, I'll work on this later. Oh, I'll go make myself some lunch and come back to this later, whatever, and then never come back to it. So I found it easier to actually hire somebody to do my first application. The code was awful, right? It, but, it was, but it was done. It was almost like getting that first rough draft done and then I could go through and edit it and make it better and everything going forward. So it is difficult and I think it's great for those of you guys who have your own apps out there on the app stores and the play stores and you're actually behind it and pushing it because it's not an easy thing to do. Procrastination is always setting in and it's something that I suffer from all the time, right? If somebody's paying me to do something, I'll do it. I'll be like super, I'm a professional when I do something for somebody else. When I do something for myself, I'm kind of, you know, I turn into an amateur. I turn into a, a tinkerer. And it's like, it's not a good mode of thinking to have. So anyway, let me know if you guys have that similar kind of thing. Cause I know we talk about it a lot on the live stream about procrastination and actually getting your stuff done. And I just want to say that it happens like every single day, right? And it's not because you're bad at what you do, because if somebody's paying you to do it, dude, you just knock it out of the park. But, you know, when you do it for yourself, it sets in. Anyway, let me know. Do you guys have trouble with that? Do you have trouble with the procrastination of doing your own projects as opposed to doing it for somebody else? And uh, anyway, I just want to give you guys my thoughts for today. And I'm just going to kick back and celebrate the rest of the day because at least that project is done. Anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you again next time.